going to be demonstrating the sewn bind off. It is a bind off that gives you a loose edge but also provides some elasticity. It is wonderful for toe up socks when you knit the entire sock and then get all the way up to the cuff you want to have a bind off that is loose enough to get over your ankle and also but you want some stretchiness some elasticity to it so that it will stay up. There are other instances where it works very nicely and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to perform the sewn bind off on my little swatch of stockinette here. You thread your, cut your yarn and thread about three times the length of the object to be sewn onto a blunt tapestry needle and then I go into the first two stitches from right to left and pull the yarn through then I go back through the first stitch from left to right pull your yarn through and then bind or drop that first stitch off the needle and now I simply repeat. Go into the first two stitches from right to left, pull your yarn through, go back through that first stitch from left to right, pull your yarn through, and then drop that off. And I get just a little bit of a tug, not uh, necessary to pull it real tight. You'll find out what works best for you. Go through the first two stitches from right to left, back through the first stitch from left to right, drop that off the needle, one more time, go through both stitches from right to left, back through the first one from left to right and drop that stitch off. I am at the last two stitches. I'll enter them both from right to left. Go into the first stitch from left to right. Take that one off. I have one stitch remaining. Just go into that one from right to left, pull my needle out, and I'm finished. And you can see I have a nice bind off that is loose, but yet it still has a lot of elasticity to it, so it makes a great top for a sock. Happy knitting!